Hello there. Uh, today I want to go over how to create a join in Tableau. So um, I wanted to kind of show you a reason why you would need to do a join. So um, connect to the sample superstore data set here. Um, but what if you wanted to create a calendar for users to, um, you know, select? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calendar using order dates. And I'm connecting to an old version of Sample Superstore. Um, it's great to kind of see when your beginning years and dates are when you get a data set. Um, but I'm going to show you that the Sample Superstore data set has some holes in the data, meaning there isn't data for certain days of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and filter by um, a year. We could see here that I'm filtering by the latest year. Um, and if I add a filter for the latest month, such as um, December, or I could say filter the latest date when the workbook is open, um, and I can see already that there's some missing dates here. So if I were to put sales on the text marks card, okay, I see sales for certain days. For the week, but I don't have the day number. So I'm going to put order date on the text marks card and make it a day. So I can see here, yep, there, I'm filtering by the month of December and the latest year of 2017, but I don't have any data for the 12th or the 31st. So even if I were to format the sales, and say, hey, for special values, give me a zero, nothing happens because there's no row of data for the 12th of um, December or the 31st. And if I were to filter this data set, like open it in Excel and check and see on the date column, I wouldn't see a value for the 12th or the 31st. So what you need to do is you need to add a row for that date or, or add a data set that has all of the dates in the date range and do a join. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the data source tab where I have orders here and I've got like my orders column. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cross database join and I'm going to add a data set here. So I'm going to click on connections and select Excel. Because I have another uh, data set where I just created um, a column with uh, dates and then dates starting from January 1st, 2014 and ending all the way to December 31st, 2017. So I'm going to click open on that and I could do a preview. I could click on this button here for a preview of this data set and that's exactly it. 1-1-2014, one, one, scrolling all the way down to seeing 12 31 2017. So I want to perform what is called data scaffolding. So if you think of scaffolding like a house that has rafters, um, you can't have a roof with missing rafters. You know, you've got to have structurally, you know, sound. So we need to have all of the rows for all of the dates. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on orders now, this orders table that we brought to this um, data pane here. And we're going to double click on it because it says double click this logical table, see it's physical table. And once we do that, it's going to put it in like this little tiny box. And this will allow us to do a right, a left, Cartesian join, meaning adding everything to everything. Um, so I'm going to click on this second data set now because we can see the primary data source has this blue tab and the secondary data source has this orange tab. So I'm going to grab sheet one from dates and it's going to prompt me um, for a join. Um, so it's saying, what is the primary key or what is the column in common that you want to join on? Well, I want to join on order date from sample superstore and I want to join on date in the date 2014 to 2017 range, but I don't want to do an inner join. I want to do a right outer join, meaning, hey, Tableau, 
bring in all of the dates and their corresponding, you know, date here. But if there is a data for this date, it'll be null in the record. So how can we see this? Because I'm selecting right because sheet one is on the right. Orders is on the left. If I wanted to do, and you can see the little Venn diagram kind of helps you. And you hover over it, it's telling you what it's doing. Include all the values in the right table and any matches that it finds in the left table. Um, but it won't, you know, if it doesn't find matches, it'll show up as null on the left. So kind of thinking about that there, if you're not familiar with SQL or doing SQL queries. So now I'm going to go to a new sheet with this combined data source, and I'm going to redo that exercise with the calendar. I'm going to use the dates column now, not order date, because I know all of the dates for that date range are in this dates column. So I'm going to drag a date and put it on my column shelf, and I'm going to format it as a weekday discrete. And now I'm going to drag dates again to the rows shelf, and I'm going to select um, week number. We've got all the week numbers here. Um, if I go to filter my data source again, I'm going to say filters, give me years, oops, not order date, Dawn. I'm going to put dates on the filter shelf and select years and select next and select that latest uh, date value when the workbook is opened. So I have the most recent year of data. Um, but now I want that latest month of data. So once again, I'm going to put dates on the filter shelf and select months and select next. There is another way to filter this besides having two filters. But I just wanted to show you for this example, filter to the latest date value when the workbook is opened. And this is a great checkbox to order to filter your workbook dynamically. So I'm going to click OK on this. And already, um, without putting like sales measure in the view, I could see that it's picking up all of the days of the week for December. So if I put sales on text, okay, so I'm getting the same thing here, but now I'm going to put date on text and format it as the day. So now I could see 31st and the 12th of December are both here. So if I go to format, sales now and put zero for my special values. I have a zero for the 31st and the 12th. So I could use this in the calendar view if I wanted to, but this is a great example of date um, data scaffolding um, in case you ever need to. So Tableau won't pick up on data if you don't have rows for that date. So kind of a reason why you use data scaffolding. Thank you for watching.